So I encourage you to take a moment, read over the problem, understand what it is we're trying to figure out. And then, so we know that we have four different groups and we know that we want to determine whether or not removing the clause has any impact on the body temperature. So in order to do that, we are going to calculate an ANOVA to determine the differences in means. So the first things that we're going to do is we're going to download all of our packages that are required for aesthetics in your graph and also for just the analysis of the problem in general. Then we are going to make a plot of our of our data set so we can see it with you know our own eyes, make intuitive assumptions. Then we're going to do the actual analysis, conducting an ANOVA the long way, and then I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, really quickly with just regular R functions. I'm going to split this video up into two separate videos, maybe three, because it's calculating the ANOVA the, al the long way takes some time. And I want to make sure that you guys understand what you are doing when we go through it. Okay. So, first things first, import your packages. Make sure, if you are on Windows, you're probably going to have to go through this uh, package by package just because they don't have everything that the Macs do. Uh, at least that was my experience on my Windows computer. It took me about an hour, an hour and a half to get everything in. Um, for the Mac, the only package that I didn't have was the emoji package, or emoji G, which is fun. And that's what we're going to use to make our plot. And you just do this to install that package from GitHub. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can import our crab set, and let's look at that. Let's look at what this is. Okay, so it looks like we have the four different groups here, and the last row you can see that there is a row that's not applicable under body temperature. So let's get rid of that. And how do we get rid of that? We're going to filter out everything that is not not applicable. That means that we're so we're pretty much going to keep everything that is not not applicable if that makes sense. Uh, and that's under body temperature. Let's see if that works. Uh, double check. Yep, you can see we only have 84 rows, meaning that we probably got rid of that last one. And since we've done that, we now want to make our graph a little bit more intuitive. We want to be able to see um, we want to see everything going in some kind of order, so let's choose ascending order. So we're going to mutate our crab type, so that equals, uh, reorder it, um, so it's this, you want to reorder your crab type, by body temperature, well it's determined by the body temperature that you're reordering it, and then your function is going to be the mean. So the mean of the body temperature of each individual crab type is what it should be reordered by now. Okay, hopefully that worked. We will find out after we make our plot. So let's make our crabby plot. Alright, of course, ggplot, and then take your data set, and then for your aesthetics, your x value is your crab type, or the different groups that you have. Your y value is going to be the body temperature, because that is the dependent variable. And then the color is going to be, again, the different crab types, because that's, you know, that's what you want to look at. Or that's, you want to be able to, whatever, you, you'll, you'll see, you'll see. Um, and so this is for the emojis. And then, okay, oopsies, silly. Okay, crabs, then you want to put them in a group. <laughs> Right, because you want to see the difference between the groups. Um, and then we're going to put in our mean line. Okay. 
equals the mean value, right? So a summarize function pretty much takes all of the information it has and puts it into one neat little line. So we want to summarize body temperature as the mean body temperature. So we have one, yeah, so you have your mean line, okay? And after you do that, you want to add the specific emoji you want. There is a list online and you can look up the different codes if you want to change your emojis. Uh, just to make it a little bit more fun to look at. Yeah. Okay. And hopefully that does that. Let's see. Okay. Oh, look at that and as you can see it's a descending order and we have our mean of each group on the line here but that's not enough right like that's a cool graph but it's not it doesn't completely give us a whole picture like we don't know how much variance there is um, it's kind of hard to look at with all these different lines in the back we don't know exactly like we don't have a name, like we don't really know what's going on here. So let's add um, the rest of our, ah, look at that. Now you can see where everything kind of is aligning and we can get rid of the background. And we can also add a title, right? And we'll call it Cool. Now you know what the plot is talking about. You know all of the data points from each group. Uh, you have a key down here telling you what all of your points mean and you have something representing the mean lines to help everybody kind of understand what's going on in your plot. So click on the next video if you want to see how to conduct the ANOVA the long way and the short way to actually determine if there's any significant difference between these different groups.